a sure win for Mohamed Ould Abdelaziz. Elections on Saturday are likely to see Mauritania's current president retain his position. Abdelaziz, a Western ally in the fight against Al-Qaeda-linked Islamists in West Africa, has run the nation straddling black and Arab Africa since he won a 2009 vote after leading a coup the year before. It's a fact recognized by the international community and all the countries that Mauritania's army is the strongest out of all armies in neighboring countries. And you know what situation we were in before I came to power. We didn't have an army. It wasn't trained. There were no means. It was completely left to ruin. The bulk of the opposition boycotted last year's parliamentary elections and talks to try to persuade them to take part in Saturday's vote broke down in April, leaving Abdelaziz no major rivals. But there are a few challenges, among them anti-slavery campaigner Biram Ould Abid, who has been a controversial figure in the country for his efforts to fight modern-day slavery. This will be a battle to rehabilitate all men and women who died here because of racism, who died because of slavery, who died for no reason at all. Also in the running is Mint Mulai Idris, the country's second female candidate. Two weeks of campaigning ended late on Thursday, having failed to rouse much enthusiasm among the 1.3 million people eligible to vote. Mahemutwa CCTV.